Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about clear quartz. Some of you have commented on my previous videos about how wary you are on purchasing clear quartz and how you can tell if it is real or fake or is it quartz or glass. So I'm going to be giving you my tips and advice on what I actually look for when I purchase a clear quartz piece. Okay, so we all know that quartz is one of the most common minerals in the Earth's crust. So there really shouldn't be any reason to fake it. However, when we talk about cut and polished quartz as points and spheres, that is when we can run into fakes. Personally, I love seeing inclusions and fractures inside clear quartz. For me, it makes them more interesting to look at. Plus, this also demonstrates it is a genuine natural quartz. So, if you find a completely clear crystal point or sphere with absolutely no fractures or inclusions inside it, then it is more than likely lead crystal or glass. Also, the price will be a giveaway um, as you are not going to get a real clear quartz sphere of this size for only five to ten pounds. Okay, also look for very small air bubbles as this is also a sign that it is glass. Although you can get in hydro quartz which contains bubbles of water which have got trapped inside the crystal as it was growing. But these are bigger bubbles and much more obvious and can occasionally move. I'm talking about the very tiny air bubbles. And another quick tip is to look through crystal at words in a book. So if I get my book here. So real quartz will not magnify the lettering as you can see there, this quartz. So a hexagonal shaped crystal point will actually magnify the words for you. But as you can see, this isn't magnifying at all. Okay, now quartz has grown over millions and millions of years, allowing the atomic structure to form perfectly strong. Therefore, quartz measures uh, a seven on the Mohs hardness scale. And this scale measures the resistance of a mineral to scratching. Diamond is always at the top of this scale, being the hardest mineral, with a measurement of 10. But glass measures about 5 to 6 on the hardness scale, and so is softer than quartz, and therefore can be scratched more easily. Um, another suggestion is the sound test, as glass can sound very different than quartz when tapping them together so so when real minerals are brought together you can hear a certain vibration don't know if you can hear that on here okay whereas if I bring some glass in and tap that glass is more of a chinking sound this is quartz. Glass. Okay, so hopefully you can tell the difference there. Okay, the next piece of advice I can give you, although this is not very helpful if you're buying your crystals online, is to actually feel the quartz. So a real quartz will feel extremely cold compared to glass, which will still feel cold, but not as cold as the quartz. Quartz will even feel extremely cold on a very hot day. Okay, and so just to make you aware of other tricks is this sphere. Um, so this can be sold as clear quartz by some sellers. So as you can see it has the internal fractures and inclusions that we're looking for. 
it doesn't have any tiny air bubbles it feels extremely cold and it even sounds like a gemstone as that as that vibration sound and that is because this is calcite which is a calcium carbonate mineral still a beautiful crystal in its own right but it is not clear quartz so this is much softer um, on the Mohs scale so this measures at a 4 and it even feels different, feels more waxy and I don't know if you can see, it also has a sort of shimmer effect through it which quartz doesn't seem to have so just be careful out there Alright, I hope this video has helped you, even if only a little bit, and what to look out for when purchasing your beautiful clear quartz crystals. And thanks for watching.